So let me ask you this, Jason, because I know you wanted a DB, right? Yeah. But <laughs> my thing, off of the DBs we got. Yeah. Me personally, I kind of like the seventh round dude a little bit more than than the than the fourth round dude. But in your opinions, how you feel about them both, and and, and which one you kind of like a little bit better? Now, the Cameron, like I liked, I like his grittiness. You know what I'm saying? Like I watched him after that the combine, but MJ, like you know, I really. Honestly, didn't know about him until after we pretty much drafted him. So right. I had to kind of dig into it. But I don't know. I kind of like the uh, seventh round pick a little bit more, too. Like, I like the size of um, Decameron. But right, right, I, right, right. I like the, um, I don't know. I just like that. Well, you know, we play a lot of men. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I like yeah. that. Absolutely. Absolutely. That, you know what I mean? That handsy kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, get get a, get some hands on you, you know, in the beginning. Because, you know, it's all about knocking that timing off that route. So, you know, um, getting physical is easy when it's at the beginning. Then rather yeah. be, than being physical down the field, you know, when the ball's in the air. Like, I'd rather right. you get hands on them real quick. But um, I think we should be good. Like, it, it, it all really depends on Bennett. Because, you know, um, if Bennett steps up, you know, like, or because, I mean, of course, we're hoping that he takes this step forward. But I think we got two good DBs that could come in here because there is that spot that uh, Amik had. Yeah. And then there's yeah. that spot on the other side of Jack. So we definitely need two. So it depends Raider, on what to do, you know. Raider Nation, Jason, you you are you are on the spot, my dude. Uh, you right here before we go any further. What is your honest, true thoughts on Jacorian Bennett? Do you think he's oh, going to be able to do it? Do you think he's gonna... <laughs> I need to know in your heart of hearts, like, if you at the casino, you on roulette, you got to bet red or black, you on blackjack, you got to take a hit or stand. I need to know, is it, yeah, that dude going to be good, he going to be all right, or <laughs> I don't know. What's your thoughts, man? And before you answer, you be here Sunday, so you know the importance of this question. This year right here is a syndicate uh, 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 yeah. right here. This is, oh, this is a big one. This is but, a big one. But go uh, ahead. I, I definitely want to hear this answer. It's a big one. You know, um, so we got two. You know, I kind of compare it to um, the AOC thing, right? But I have more faith in AOC his second year than I do Bennett his second year. Interesting. You know, ah. But, but. I have faith that Bennett can be that uh, a meek spot. I feel like he can fill that spot. So it's it's really like I said, it's dependent on him being able to at least get that spot. So you, you know, think his ceiling is that? You think his ceiling is that spot, but not the dude. I mean, I, I hope I, he has the speed, but like a lot of people are saying, like that he doesn't really have the you know, I guess. He has the speed and talent, you know, the physical, but it's like his, he doesn't see the game. He doesn't see the plays with that vision. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he's not, he's not going to be like Jack Jones and like be able to. Uh, you know sure. why? I, nah, I see. I, now I'm projecting. I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to project. All I got to say is I have my valid reasons. My, my guys know. I preach it. I've said it out loud. I've been forced to say it out loud. I'm not going to keep bashing this young man because I want him to prove me wrong 100%. Yeah, yeah right. And get it popping because yeah. at 4 3 speed, we got another guy coming in. I mean, at some point, man, these guys should be able to figure it out, particularly what's, what's in front of them that's helping. So, yeah, I'm pulling for him, man, but I'm not going to lie. I just don't see it. Yeah, like I don't have a good. I mean, it's not that I don't. I have a bad feeling about him. It's just I don't. You know, he doesn't move the needle for me. Like I feel until he kind of shows us something. Because like all, the only memory we have of him is getting ate up. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> the like, facts. I yanked and yanked yeah. immediately, effectively. Like yo, you can't yeah. be out there. I and I don't. I did do even AOC didn't get yanked. I mean, he yeah. actually won us games at the end. Turf, that's nah, crazy. don't start hey, that, Turf. That's, that, that's, that, that's a lie. Like, yeah. right, <laughs> and, AOC has won us zero games. Well, you know what I mean by won us games. See, and okay, that's, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's, I, I that's what I'm now. saying. He won us games now. by not turning the ball over as a rookie. Most rookies yeah. turn the ball over, bro. He was like, yo, look, I'm going to suck. I'm going to throw 60 yards in this game, but I didn't throw a turnover. I didn't create a turnover, and I'm not the reason we lost. And if you yeah. can't 
respect that. I, I'm sorry. I don't know what it is you're thinking. No, I respect that. I, I don't know how you. I respect, respect that, but you know, but that you know what I mean. We all know what I mean. Yeah. I know, but that game to me was such progression, such a. A, 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 a genius mind of understanding. I am out of my league. I'm just not messing this up. I don't care what people think. You know what I mean? It was just such a display of just cold as ice. Like, yo, and the people, we aren't seeing it as a, as a fan base as a whole. I see it. I know a lot of guys that seen it. But this, this kid is just producing cold as ice veins mentalities. And oh, wait, before, before we talk about eight. Yeah. We got let's stay on Jacorian in the corners. Yeah, for sure. Let's do it. So I I as far as you know what what you know Jason said, I agree, right? The Amik role is where I think he's going to be slotted because that's why I think they got rid of Amik because they gonna let Jacorian do that. But as the roster sits right now, that shit ain't good enough. It's not because yeah. We Agreed. need us. We need another guy at, at the opposite of Jacorian and and Amik ain't good enough on that other side. That's why he's not here. Like that's just the whole fucking shit. I mean, it is what it is, bro. I mean, but at the, and I fucked with Amik, but Jacorian has to produce at a different level. And this is what I keep stressing. This is probably what Turf and I continue to stress. Like he has to produce at a different type of level because as the roster sits right, right. now. Whatever we're like, like that six man a meek roll, that shit ain't good enough. It's not gonna work. Yeah, not at all. So before we continue, I want to get. Oh, we got another special guest here. Yeah. Yeah. With all, you know who I got to bring to the stage. Uh, run down <laughs> in the what up, fellas? Man, salute. Man. How we doing? What up, big bro? Tell me, tell me. How y'all doing, man? We man, doing well, bro. We were we 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 talking about the cornerback yeah. situations from the draft and yeah. Corey and Bennett. I yes, was sir. saying, yeah, because Radio, Radio Nation Jason right here said um, that Ja'Cory and Bennett being the Amik Robertson role, that's where he can see him, right? And I agree with that, but I'm just saying as the roster sits right now, it's not good enough, right? He needs to do more just because we need another guy opposite of Jack Jones. You know what I mean? And I think I think that that as it sits right now, I would say he's the guy, unless you want to put one of the rookies there, and that's we starting all over again. Yeah. Hey, first off, I want to say what's up, Jason. Nice to meet you, brother. You too, likewise. Good to see yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt, no doubt. What's up, Turf? How you feeling, Pimp? Uh, you already know, big bro. I'm chilling, man. I'm glad you was able to make it with us today, man. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. No I, doubt. What you got to say, dog. <laughs> yeah. Real Protect the shield in the building. Salute to Jacory and Bennett. <laughs> well, you know, uh, the Jacory and Bennett thing, you know, it's interesting to me because I think the last time I was on, we talked about it. You know, that was one of the combos. Um, and honestly, you know, like I said, the last time from my perspective, um, I'm interested to see what the kid does, you know, in his second year. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of hard for cornerbacks, you know, you know, except, ex except for some of the exceptional ones, you know, just to kind of walk in and, and, and really be that impact guy like that. You know what I mean? Especially a fourth-round pick. But he showed some things. You know, he started he started at the beginning of the year, so he must have showed something. You know what I mean? Um, I just think he regressed a little bit. He got knocked around a little bit, some injuries as well. You know what I'm saying? But – uh the kid, you know, the kid's got hella athletic potential. We know that. He's a 4-3 kid. You know what I mean? He got some dog in him. And I, they seem to like kids for the Maryland program. You know what I mean? Um, so it's I'm interested to see what he does. I'm, I'm going to definitely give him this year. You know, I think he still might be able to compete for a starter position. He might surprise everybody. Maybe so. And I think, you know, what, I, what I've seen, and because you got to pay attention to the social media a lot, um, you know, I've seen Ja'Cory and Bennett with, Jack Jones a lot. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I, I've i right. seen them training together. I've seen them even when they do, like, stuff outside the facility. He's with him, like, at the same time. So, it's like, okay, we're going to get your confidence back up. That's what we're going to do. So, right. I mean, if he Word. can be that guy, perfect. Word. Yeah, like like I said, you know, buddy, you know, he, he started a few games last year. You know what I mean? Um, I thought he had some, some bad calls against him as well. You know, I remember a couple of games. I'm like, damn, they, you know, they actually called, you know, a, 
a pass interference or a holding. So, you know, that'll shake a kid's confidence, especially a corner. You know what I mean? In the, in, the, in the NFL, you know what I mean? I'm sure the game was moving 100 miles an hour for him. So, you know, young kid, man. You know, I, I love the, I love potential. I love promise. So, I'm always going to give these guys a couple years grace, kind of like we had to do with Trayvon Mary. You know what I mean? And, until he assimilated himself into Patrick Grant's system and, and got familiar with it because, like they say, it's kind of a thinking man system. And it's kind of hard on DBs. That bro, you know what I, I mean? that's what I and I've given my uh, opinion as to why that's a problem for him <laughs> because I don't think he's got the yeah. ability. I'm just keeping it a book. I, bro, if you look at his past, his history, I mean, it makes sense. And some guys are phenomenal, and you can find ways to just throw them in there and use them. But it's what y'all already said. It's the instincts. When they got the instincts, that's when it don't matter. But he don't have that. See, that's that's the problem. And then when you don't have the instincts and can't get in the game, you know what I'm saying? From the from the educational side, it is a wrap. Like it's it's just no well, well, if I'm um, if I'm not mistaken, like when he was at Maryland, I know he got targeted a lot. He got targeted a lot more than uh Deontay Banks did. Because four, they were trying to stay away from banks. Four three but, speed I mean, in college, yeah. big bro. Four three speed in college, where those guys are, are nowhere close to what you're dealing with in the NFL. That's just really what it boils down to. Yeah, See, it's, it's definitely. He can take a loss. He can take a step. You know what I'm saying? A loss in yeah. college and recover. He can't do that in NFL, even if the dude is like three ten. Think about it. Devontae Adams is like one, obviously one of the slower wide receivers in the NFL. But it's yeah, no doubt. so ridiculous. It don't matter what speed you run as a defender. You, you see where I'm trying to get at? And that's where he's already at a loss. It don't even matter, you know what I'm saying, with his speed because he already lost up there. And that, that speed is – you can't recover in the NFL. So, what I, so based off what I'm seeing, I mean, the gauge of the room is like, okay – we 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 like him, but we need our, our we're not so sure that he can take that leap that we need him to take. You know what I mean? Because we as a number two corner like that, like to make the playoffs. Nonetheless, he has to play at a certain level. You know what I mean? We all know what that level looks like. But at the end of the day, if he's not the guy, who else? I want, I want to start with Jason, right? Like who else would you be looking at? Are you outsourcing? Yeah. Are you trading? Like, what what are you doing for that cornerback position? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I really, you know, right now I don't see that second guy, the number two guy on our roster. And I hope that since we got all this money coming, you know, what I'm saying we can we can add to that room. Like, you know, I know we've been talking about Xavier Howard, Xavier Howard. We've been talking mm-hmm. about Stephon Gilmore, and I'm okay with somebody like that if the price is, you know, what I'm saying if the price is right. And I think I really like. I have a feeling that it's already in the mix. That that's why it's taking so long for these DBs to sign. They're waiting for this money to drop. So, and I think there could be an agreement already. You know what I'm saying? In the works. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping. I'm hoping because if we see the same gap, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure they see it too. You know, so I, I would be good with a vet on that other side until either Devonshire uh, or uh, DeCamrion or Bennett steps up until one of them steps up, and then hopefully. We get that vet, and then it won't put the pressure on the rookies. They can sit back, they can you know right. get better, and they'll be ready for next year. And then we'll have our you know what I mean hopefully starting DBs of our own. I just thought about some as well, fellas. Um, what do they do with Brandon facing? I've, I've been kind of hearing his name. I've been, I mean, I, for some reason, I've been kind of hearing his name mentioned a lot. Like they still kind of high on him. I thought he was gone though. Didn't he get no, like he's a still team not long ago? No, he's, he's still there. He's still on the team, but let's let's all be honest here. All right, all right. Facing is Swiss cheese. All right, yeah. Swiss cheese. <laughs> I, I I I I love the Raiders, bro. But I keep it real. Even even if we get players or whatever, I want to keep it keep it a bean, bro. He's not. He wouldn't he's strike no it. fear into my heart. If I'm it. game planning, like it. you know what I mean. I'm like, shit, bro, who? You know, what I mean? <laughs> like shit. It's nah, like, he's it's not right? Like so, we gotta. I think we got to find a guy like personally. And I said this where I said this with turf on Thursday. I think we have to find a veteran one because our cornerback room is young as hell. It's young it as hell. Now it you is. just added like two rookies in there. And now it's even younger. Got to yeah. add some veteran leadership to me. And at the same time with this D line, 
and we know what we could have. I want a guy who has proven instincts because there's going to be a lot of batted balls. There's going to be a lot of errant passes. I want a guy like Xavier Howard who know how to take the ball away. That's yeah. just me. That's but my first choice, too. Yeah. Yeah. You said that's yeah. the first choice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Xavier Howard will be my first choice, um, without a doubt. You know what I mean? Stephon Gilmore, he'd be cool, too. You know, he's 34. You know, I kind of, you know, I kind of like, feels like Xavier Howard might fit what we do a little bit, style of play. You know what I mean? Um, Adore Jackson is still out there. I know he gets banged up, but. You know, he, he can offer you, you know, he'll offer you something as well. But I think we all agree that Xavier Howard is the, the number one guy we like to see them bring in. Now, another name that um that I've heard is Steven Nelson. And he played with the Texans last year. So, you know, another name that I think could work um and you can get for the cheap. You know what I mean? But I think, yeah. you know, one of those names, like, I mean, I can see Gilmore, but at the same time, the last picture I saw of Gilmore wasn't good because in that playoff yeah, game, Green Bay, yeah, it yeah. was he was it was not good against Green Bay. So I don't know what was going on there, but we'll see that from that perspective.